Hey guys, I'm doing uh, the drawing for the next part of the Tenya Ida X listener. And I want to like leave a side note here that uh, it might not come out as soon as planned because I realized that I mentally made a doozy of a story which is going to require a lot of world building. So I'm going to have to do... Okay, so the Kirishima ex-listener and Aizawa ex-listener and I don't know who else, but there is one character with a certain quirk that I'm going to have to figure out who would be in a relationship with who. But yeah. So, three other characters are going to have an ex-listener thing. Gotta just tap my thing. Uh, but yeah. So... Ida, ex-listener, is probably going to be on a bit of a hiatus until I can get those two stories out. Because I... I mean, Lordy, life just kind of hit me in the face with a lot of schoolwork, so it's like I barely have the motivation to make these stories right now. But I will do my best. Because people seem to like it, and that makes me happy, and if I can keep feeling happy, then... E. Uh, hmm. And I guess I'll just like leave a little side note for people who are like uh, using Clip Studio Paint and they want to clear their color history. So like it's like I have had it to the point where it's like filled up all the way down here and I never knew how to clear it out until today. So it's like, if you want to clear it out, uh, then just these three lines on color history. Yep, that's it. It was easy as that, and I never knew. So yeah, and uh, if you're... Okay. If you're having like trouble with the fill tool working, then I would suggest like... Uh, doing this one right here. So all of these will like leave white lines, but if you turn off all anti-aliasing, aliasing, Ili Ili aliasing? I can't read that, I am so sorry. Uh, but yeah, if you turn that off completely with this, then you don't have to worry about white lines at all. So yeah. But, uh, I want to just say that I think that this is almost done. And I guess I'll just, uh, be probably a bit more silent now. Because I need to focus. <laughs> Instead of talk and do this. And I'm trying a different art style out for this one, as opposed to the last time. Because I tried an art style, like you know, modern day-ish type of anime art style like a long time ago and I didn't like this, so I changed it to that Adventure Time-esque looking one and I do not like that either. So now I am doing a retro anime art style and so far I'm liking how I'm doing it. Like, I actually like it. I'm proud of this. I'm proud that this is something I can call my art. So yeah.
Mhm. No. I hope that this looks good. Like, I'm not trying to oversell this shading. Uh. I really want to tell you guys about, like, what I have in mind for the characters, but at the same time, I don't want to spoil anything. It's like, I'm like Pearl right now, just like covering up my mouth, trying not to spoil the, oh, I don't, trying not to like spoil anything. Because if Pearl actually like spilled the beans earlier on in like Steven Universe, then everything would be spoiled and ruined. So I'm having that same feeling towards my own series. So I'm not going to say anything <laughs> right now. I'm forgetting that his face would probably cause shading here. Uh, Okay, so he uh I might try and make my own soundtrack because uh don't mind me looking at a uh, homestuck stuff because I love homestuck. It's like part of my childhood. But uh okay, this only happened when my channel started gaining more subscribers. But I've been getting copyright claims for using Card Captor Sakura music in the background of my videos. So it's like, I gotta like, change it. But I'm not sure. But I will, uh. No, shush. It's like one second of the video. Don't fudging get onto me, Octopimp. Or maybe Octopimp doesn't care because he doesn't do Homestuck comic devs anymore. I don't know. But, uh. I'm thinking about like using this song right here. Cause it's like it has that loving vibe to it. And I just uh the fairies theme is amazing. But I'm not sure. I actually wonder what's Nepeta's theme actually like? Cause it's like, it's been a while since I've, you know, listened to any Homestuck music. Cause it's just like, I'm up in my school business. And it's like, I guess I might be more of a workaholic than I think I am. Because literally, uh, freaking, okay, I'll tell you my situation. But it's like, I have been trying to, uh, do so many things. Like, I've been doing schoolwork, I've been doing the artwork for the, or some of the artwork, like I am now, for this series. This picture and then the other one. I feel really guilty for using that other one that I did for the first video. And if I can... I don't want to re-upload it because people would think it was like a new addition to the thing. So I don't want to do that. But <laughs> like a
Yeah, I don't want to re-upload it because some people might think that I'm like being a mother fudger just trying to keep people's eyes on my videos. And that wouldn't be the case, it would just be me like re-uploading it with different artwork. Because like, as an artist myself, I I don't know how to react. So I don't know how those people's re or person, how they react to like their artwork being used on somebody else's thumbnail. That yeah, I just, I feel wrong. Like, I'm in the wrong for something. It's probably nothing, but oh my god, I just feel bad. I was like... It actually took a lot of me just to use that picture for the thumbnail that I did. And the funny thing is, I don't know exactly who owns it, because I saw, like, it was being used for like selling market stuff so I'm not sure if that's a picture that the artist is selling or if somebody just so happened to steal their artwork and then try to sell it off. I don't know what's going on there but yeah. Fill bucket in the wrong place. Fill bucket tooled in the wrong neighbor. Oh my gosh. Neighborhood. Hi. Okay. All right. I haven't even finished John like exactly what I was talking about with the whole workaholic thing but I was like I was trying to do like something on Roblox studio like I was remaking a house that I did not like so I was remaking like okay the thing is it was like on one of my friends like neighborhood games like you know little showcases if you have never played those little neighborhood games and I don't know it's like, it basically just shows off the person's friends and what their ideal life would be like if they were to actually be able to live in a neighborhood, I guess, in Roblox. I don't know. But I felt like I was inadequate because it's like, <sighs> the guy that I'm like, well, he never told me that I had to remake him, but or well, he never said anything about me having to remake the house, but I just felt like so inadequate with the way that mine was built, because like, I literally felt like I, I feel like I don't have an excuse for mine being as like, basic as it is, even though everybody else has like a more simplistic approach, because it's just a digital house. Exactly what, how special could it possibly be? And I'm over here like, <laughs> and then I'm juggling like, art and then schoolwork and then artwork just for fun and then I'm trying to like play video games and enjoy my free time and it's just like uh <laughs> but yeah that's my life uh oh, oh, uh fudge and turn it into the blueberry from freaking Willy Wonk <laughs> uh I didn't mean to do that. Uh, also, this shading right here, just no, bro, just that's a no. I have a lot of inspiration for part four of this story Tanya Ida ex listener I'm gonna try and convolute it as much as possible but like hmm 
I don't know. This doesn't look like all that retro anime-ish to me right now, but probably after I put in some finishing details. Uh... But I am proud of this right here. This took me two days to finish. And yes, that is a Nurse Joy in a Team Skull outfit. And I only thought that that was fitting because I don't see exactly how any of the grunts get any of their Pokemon fixed. It's like, they're... Okay, the thing with, like, Nurse Joys is they have actually been... Or at least one of them. I can't remember if there's, like, a lot of instances. But there's been an occasion, at least one occasion, where a Nurse Joy knows how to make their Pokemon fight. And it was, like, I think a Pokemon battle against Brock... So it's like, yeah. It's like a Nurse Joy is capable, so why not make them a Team Skull Grunt? Gosh, dang it, Bobby. <laughs> God. I don't need to ring that in here. Hmm. I'm just gonna play music to fill in the background because I'm probably not going to talk that much. And if I flip back onto this, and just to pause it so I can talk. Because the way that my recorder works is that it will not pick up me trying to speak to you while it uh, records. So yeah, just sit back and enjoy music with me. Okay, yes, it's time for the next music thing. Also, it's a good thing that uh, Andrew Hussey doesn't really mind if you use his music. As long, I'm gonna guess as long as you don't try to claim it for your own stuff, so... It's cool, man, it's cool, because 
I used to co do comic dubs. They weren't that good, but I never got like copyright notices, even though my channel was like, it was like a different channel, but I don't use that channel anymore because I really hate the past things that I have done there. Like, I mean, I know I was like 11, but like, oh my god, I was such a jerk. But yeah, so now I have a new channel, and I, I'd i rather keep the old channel a secret, so don't ask, please. But yeah, in all the time that I was using the old channel, never got a copyright strike or a copyright claim from using any of the soundtracks, so...
Also, I'm really sorry that the hand sucks A, but uh, I'm really trying. I had to pull up a reference and even then, so it still sucks, but enjoy the music now. Nope. Frick. Okay. And I am done. This drawing took all day, and I hope that this serves well. I'll see you till then. I shouldn't sound that ominous, but bye.